guys, how you doing? This is Master Chim here at Jungle Gym Martial Arts. Uh, today I want to talk about a very, very important topic, especially for you beginners, white belt super conferences. Now, what, am I, what do I mean by white belt super conferences? That is, and we all see this happening, sometimes we may even participate in it in, uh, in the beginning of our jiu-jitsu journeys, is we come to an open mat, we come to uh, five minutes before the class, after class, a little bit of free time, and you have a whole powwow of guys that uh, maybe have started a week ago, a month ago, two months ago. But they're certainly in their beginning stages of jiu-jitsu. And they're sitting there and they're having one of these, well, this is what I like to do, conversations. Um, one of the things we practice here at Jungle Gym Martial Arts is planning out our journey. Okay, One of the, the phrases and the analogies I always use is, uh, we put a ladder in front of you. And the ladder is going to wherever your goals are. But the ladder is something that we design for you. Your job is to show discipline and diligence and climb the ladder that's put in front of you from day one. Um, we've also heard the phrase, uh, don't try and reinvent the wheel. Well, unfortunately, sometimes white belts, when sort of left to their own devices, that's exactly what they do. They try to figure out a different way to do things uh, just for the sake of being different. And a lot of times there's no value in it. Uh, not only is it not helping them a lot of time, a lot of times it impedes their progress. Uh, the more likely they are in the beginning to try and figure things out on their own, the less likely they are to actually listen to the people who have their progress as a goal of their own. Okay? Uh, I'm the master instructor at the Jungle Gym. Everybody that comes into my school, I want to be a black belt one day. Uh, I want to take wherever they are and put them to 100% of their potential and even beyond that. And I can't do that if from the beginning stages, people don't want to listen. People don't want my help. Okay? If you're in a reputable martial arts school, you're under the guidance and tutelage of people that have already been to where you're trying to go and probably have also helped other people get to where you're trying to go. All right? So this, this isn't the first journey that they're taking somebody on. So trust the people that you first trusted when you joined your martial arts school. All right. Thanks for listening to the video. Hopefully this will be a little bit productive for you beginner guys. Um, MasterChimpFans.com, MMAisForYou.com, JungleGymBronx.com, uh, all the websites that I just gave you, they can lead you to be a better martial artist. Uh, thanks for listening. Hope to see you soon.